Good morning from St. Mary's Lake here, St. Mary's Glacier behind me. Today, we're going to be hiking St. Mary's Lake. Just kidding. That would be the worst video ever. Today, we're going to be hiking James Peak and hopefully snowboarding down for a full trail guide of James Peak. You can check the link in the description below. So to get where we are right now, you can go ahead and check the links in the description below where I talk about parking and paying and everything for St. Mary's Glacier and Lake. About a half mile from the trailhead to here. The hike to James Peak is about eight miles. Juno here with me today. Should be an interesting day because I've never snowboarded with Juno or split boarded with Juno before. So uh, this is gonna be kind of a test. Uh, James Peak is a great 13er here in the front range of Colorado because it can be hiked year round with pretty minimal avalanche risk, if any, as long as you're staying to the right standard trail. To start your hike here, you basically wanna head over to the glacier and begin your way working up that. When you're making your way over to the glacier, there's a number of different social trails. I'm just choosing one that works for me, but there's really no wrong way to get over there. Junebug. Inverted clouds, beautiful. Well, Juno's in heaven. If there's snow, she's all about it. Bit of fresh snow from last night. So luckily there's a couple in front of me, or at least two people in front of me, who are breaking trail. Means I don't have to put on the crampons. Let's talk about gear for this one. To shop all virtual Sherpa gear, hats, hoodies, long sleeves, crew necks, you name it, I got it. Go ahead and check the links in the description below to help support the website and channel. So I have the split board, definitely not mandatory, but it's a nice mellow, mellow, mellow ski or board. Nothing's over like 25 degrees in angle, uh, unless you want it. Snowshoes otherwise. Micro spikes you could probably get away with. I don't think you need crampons for this one. It's your personal preference. If you wanna practice with them, it's a good practice hike. Uh, gators, hiking poles. You don't need a mountain ax either, uh, but again, you can bring it if you wanna practice. To shop all the, the gear I'm using today, you can go ahead and check the links in the description below. I have everything, including camera gear used on this hike. It's glacier now. It's actually not a glacier anymore. What remains is just lingering snow throughout the year. Um, but if you do want to come here in the summer, you can ski and snowboard this section we're on right now. It's rotten snow, meaning there's tons of sharks, i.e. rocks sticking out, super variable. You're not going to get nice smooth turns, but if you come here late in the afternoon when it's nice and soft, you might be able to at least link up from top to bottom without killing your board. As you get to the upper part of the glacier here, you're going to want to bear left. The slope does ease. It'll kind of flatten out for a bit actually. So might need snowshoes for this part. We'll see. I don't have them, so that'll be terrible. But looking back at home, it was snowing and raining this morning. And we are in the sunshine bluebird day up here. Beautiful. It does uh, annoy me sometimes, I will admit, but all of my hikes have a GPS file, which shows you the date of when they're hiked. I usually don't post things in real time, so that's why things are probably delayed or posted not when I hike them. Uh, but for anybody wondering, and this applies to winter, spring, or summer, this is a May 9th trip. So if you're coming here in June or May, and you wanna do St. 
uh, Mary's Glacier or James Peak, expect snow. That's what it's like here in Colorado if you're not familiar. High elevation snow sticks till usually July, depending on the aspect or the way that the slope faces, especially north facing stuff. That'll hold pretty long even throughout the year sometimes. I was just setting up a shot and Juno knocked the camera down with her leash. Oh Juno, come on. And I got a little frustrated at her. But God, to see how much this dog loves the snow just makes my heart feel something, which doesn't usually do. Happy I brought her, even though she's a pain in the ass sometimes. First views at the top of James Peak. You got Peak of Bancroft over to the left, which I've done very fun East Ridge route. Pretty bleak up here. Definitely the prettiest in the winter when there's snow. It's just uh, not a lot doing up here. As you get closer to the summit of James Peak here, uh, this is all deceptively very far away. We still have a mile or so plus to the summit. In the summer, the trail's gonna kind of zigzag over to the left and then work up. Uh, I wouldn't recommend going ridge proper because there are some cornices on the right side that might screw you over. So what I'm gonna do is kind of go straight up and then bear right uh, up towards the summit. Uh, but again, in the summer, the trail zigzag, so please stay on the trail. This east side of the mountain here has some awesome couloirs, so uh, maybe in a future video I'll tackle one of those, but for that approach, you, you might see tracks going right. Do not follow those unless you wanna do one of the couloirs. Looking back to the lake glacier approach. So one note about skiing down, you'll notice this section is pretty flat and it also gets pretty thin. So there's a high likelihood you'll either have to tolerate a lot of scraping or unratchet or unclip, whatever you call it for skiing and walk across. Doesn't look like much, just a white abyss up here, but this is the uh, ridge of James Peak, South Ridge. So again, I'm gonna be working up the slope, working to the left and then cutting right. I'll show you that in a sec. Almost on the ridge line here. I decided to stick a little more right than what I previously showed you guys. So again, in the summer, beautiful view of Mount Bancroft, but you'll be coming up here and then to the summit of James Peak. Uh, but I figure with the snow, yeah, it's just better to take more direct line today for us. Juno is in heaven. Moody clouds around us today too. Very obvious summit of James Peak right there. And uh, you definitely can't see it, but there's some mountain goats on the ridge. Maybe we can get a closer look. Looking down some of those couloirs. Awesome lines. But check out this cornice, this cornice, this cornice. Just guarded heavily. These are definitely late spring lines if they stay in. You definitely want to stay away from these. I am not even going to go close to them, but you can get an idea just at how massive these are. 
last push, Juno framing the final couple hundred feet till the summit. To the left here is what you'd ski or snowboard down and then reconnect all the way back to where you came from. As you can see, it's pretty thin in areas, so it's definitely not gonna hold the snow that long, but uh, it's a nice easy slope, 20, 25 degrees, not avalanche prone, unless there's a big cornice at the top or something, which uh, you know you could easily avoid. But again, as you're here in the winter and the spring, you can see these cornices. Do not go near them. Steer far left. There's no reason to go right. Summit of James Peak here. Some nasty clouds moving in. But for now, we're all right. So yeah, awesome views down into Rocky. The moody, moody front range and 10 mile range we've been seeing all day. All right, summit of James Peak here. Just in time, it looks like some iffy weather moving in to our west. Uh, but yeah, beautiful up here from Carter Trail, just over three miles and about 3,200 feet of elevation gain. Uh, lovely, lovely day so far. Hoping that the snowboarding on the way down works out. Uh, I, I would have said no crampons at the beginning of this one, but uh, depending on the line you take, I can definitely see a, a place where those would be valid. Still don't see a mountain axe being used here today, but again, you do you. Juno's interested in pica right now, but speaking of weather on James Peak, I haven't touched on this. You definitely want to make sure it's a good weather window because there is zero, zero uh, shelter from anything that rolls in. Rain, lightning, thunder, absolutely zero. So make sure uh, pretty much when you start this hike to when you finish, you have good weather because there's really, really uh, no bailout points on this one once you leave the glacier. Got to transition here to the split board slash snowboard. Give Juno some snacks for being such a good girl, even though she won't look at the camera. And uh, yeah, start the snowboard down. Again, I've never done this with Juno before, so it should be interesting. <laughs> but again, if you're skiing, snowboarding down, it's not going to be a continuous line, but you should be able to get pretty far. And then once you hit the glacier again, uh, you can pretty much take that down to the car, depending on snow level and how good you are with really, really variable terrain on that St. Mary's uh, Lake path. Surprisingly well. Juno's killing it. What an awesome dog. I'm not going to try to film that much more on the way down. Maybe at the glacier itself, but what a good girl. I'm so proud of Juno. Obviously, ideal would be off leash, but she just killed it up there. I'm so happy. Uh, this is not gonna be a habit that I do, but I wanted to get her out today. Uh, it's been a tough spring with uh, just getting her outside. So uh, for, for mountain hikes, let's, let's not uh, kid ourselves. She gets a huge walk every day, but um, so yeah, pretty much down at the glacier now, but that's gonna wrap up my video here of James Peak with a hike ascent and a ski slash snowboard down. If you're new to my channel, I do virtual trail guides of the 13ers, 14ers, Colorado hiking, and much, much more. So go ahead and check the channel out, not to miss any future hike related content. As always, you can check a full hike guide, A to Z, everything you need to know about this hike, which is linked on my website, thevirtualsherpa.com, in the description below. Thank you very much for watching, and Juno and I will see you on the next adventure.